friends, welcome to my channel, Creating Essence. I am Megan, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to share with you one of our quick, easy, and healthy crock pot recipes. Today I am making a sausage marinara in the crock pot, and in a second crock pot, I am cooking up some spaghetti squash. So when it's all said and done, we can eat our marinara on the spaghetti squash instead of pasta noodles. If you're not a fan of spaghetti squash, you can go ahead and skip that part and just eat it over whatever you like. If you hear a little racket in the background, I've got kids doing chores over there, so that would be it. The first thing we're going to do is cut the ends off of our spaghetti squash. Then it's going to be nice and flat so you can safely cut it in half. Next we'll get a spoon and scrape out these seeds. Then we'll turn these over, take off any stickers. And you can use a fork, but I just use a knife. And put little slits all over them. Now we're going to put them in the crock pot, face down, so the peel is up. We're gonna add about a half cup of water to keep it nice and moist in there, and put it on low. That will take about four to five hours to cook. Next, we're gonna make the sauce. First thing I'm going to do is take a medium onion. I'm just going to peel it, cut the ends off, take off any of the tougher outer skin, and then cut it about in the sixths. I like to use my immersion blender to really make this all smooth at the end. I don't worry about chopping it up tiny at the beginning. Next, I have half of a pepper. If you really like the pepper flavor, you can use a whole pepper. I like to use the yellow, orange, or red in these ones so that they blend in more when I'm pureeing it. But if you're not pureeing it, you can use any color you want and just dice it up. You could also use roasted red peppers to add a little extra flavor. I will post a link to my video on roasted red peppers up there in the corner. Next, I'm going to add about four large cloves of garlic. These I like to quarter so the flavor can get through the sauce while it's cooking. A little bit better than if I leave them whole. To that, I'm adding some rosemary. This is rosemary I dried from my garden. Fresh or dried will work. That's maybe a tablespoon, maybe a little less. Oregano, about the same amount. Basil. A good shake of sea salt and fresh ground black pepper. I find that fresh grinding the pepper makes a world of difference with the flavor as opposed to using a pre-ground version. That's what we have going on in the crock pot. Now let's add the sausage. You can use fresh or frozen. Today I have frozen. I like to just cut the links in half because it makes it a lot easier in the end to just pull those links out and puree it because I don't want to puree the sausage. I like to leave those in pieces. I just pull those out and puree the vegetables. After washing my hands and getting rid of the dirty cutting board, I get out the tomatoes. I have two 28 ounce cans of just plain crushed tomatoes. And that is it. I will turn this on high since the sausage is frozen for about four to five hours. And we'll check back in with both the crock pots then. All right, it's been about five hours. It's been a pretty busy Saturday. I just got home from a baby shower and it's time to check on the crock pots. The spaghetti squash, ooh, steaming up the screen. I can feel that is nice and soft to touch, which tells me it's cooked through. So shut it off. And the marinara is bubbling really nicely. That looks delicious. 
Now I'm going to use some tongs and just pull the sausage out and set it on the side here. All right, I've pulled out all the sausages. I've shut off the crock pot and now I have my immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can leave this like this and just stir it up. If you like chunks, you can see there are some pieces, but it's not off-puttingly so. We just like it smooth because I have some texture, people. So I'm going to blend it up. Easy peasy. Cover it up. Push it to the back of the cupboard with the sausage while I take care of the spaghetti squash and get ready to serve. To serve the spaghetti squash, I just get a fork and scrape it out of the peel. The peel comes away easily, just like that. Now the other half. These went for about five hours. They probably would have been fine with only four hours on low, but I was gone, so they went for five. They're still perfectly good. They just won't have the al dente feeling that they would if they only went for four hours. To serve this meal, we put some spaghetti squash in the bowl. Top it with a couple sausage links. Pour on some sauce. Sprinkle it with a little Asiago cheese. You can do mozzarella, Parmesan, Romano, or just leave the cheese off entirely. And that is it. This is a great substitute for those who are trying to avoid gluten or a lot of starchy carbs. It's not a dead ringer for pasta, but it is a good wholesome substitute. And even if you're not looking to sub anything, it's just a really delicious way to use spaghetti squash. Thank you so much for sticking around, friends. Please share this video with your friends if you think they might find it useful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye.